Hello, it's April and welcome to my toy world. Today we are opening up Thimble Stump Hollow Series 3 and we have a whole case to open up here and I have been so eager to open this case up. It is such a cute design. It's a really big box here. I can't keep it in frame, but that's okay. We'll go ahead and take a look real quick at all the adorable figures that we are looking for today. Again, this is Thimble Stump Hollow Series 3. I've collected the other series as well. I think they're absolutely adorable. I love that they're sort of almost like foresty magical creatures and, and uh, gems are always included too. And since I love forests and I love collecting rocks, this series is always right up my alley. And I love the colors in this series too. All very fun and pretty and pastel and gem toned. So let's see, we've got um, Smowlbat, Cottonwood, Tesla and Dolabog, Bunnybuck, Topaz, um, Gem Scuffler, Doobly, Atticus, Angora, and Chibs and Flump. So some of these look like returning characters and some look like they might be new characters too. So very cute, bunch of fun ones. It says there are 10 different characters to collect and rare limited edition colors. So we're looking for 10 different ones and it looks like we have 12 here to open up. So hopefully we get all one of each of the 10, but there's definitely variations with these, so we might not. So let's see what ones we do get today. Again, these are the ones we're looking for and there's going to be color variations. Okay, this box design is so cute and pretty. I just love it. Okay. So here is our first box for today. Symbol Stump Hollow. Um, let's see, Amanda, Louise Spade, and Chris Reiniak um, do this series. And it's just so cute, I'm always impressed. I just love it. Oh, it looks like we're starting off with a color variation. This is really cute. We've got sort of a yellow to green to orange color variation instead of the boxes purple, blue, pink. And this is, let's see, this is Angora. So very cute, and we started off with a color variation. Let's see what the next one is here, box number two. And these are nice big figures too. I just really enjoy that. Oh, this one's cute. So we've got pink and orange here, the little green. Oh, look at that on the back. That is so cute. Uh, this one is cottonwood. So a little cottonwood and this also looks like a color variation. So we've got a couple in this little range. Let's see box number three. And let's see if we have one in the classic range. Oh look we do. We have him in his um, in the range of colors of this box here. Angora. So there's the other Angora. It's so fun to kick off with two color variations so you can really see the difference. And again, I just always love Thimble Stump Hollow. I definitely will be collecting more in the future if they come out with more sets. And oh, he's cute. Oh my goodness, that is adorable. And look, it's got two little figures, two little characters here. And this is Tesla and Dullbog. So very, very cute. And box number five. And we have this one here. Oh, this one's cute. I've had this in other uh, sets, I believe. I love the little antlers on this guy. He's so cute. This is Bunny Buck. So Bunny Buck. And we're almost halfway through this case already. This is box number six. Oh, this one's really pretty. This is a bat. I love that he's holding a little gemstone there. That is cute. I like those wings. Very adorable. And this is called Atticus. So Atticus with his cute little crystal there. I just think that's great. One of these days I'll have to display these with my rock collection. I have a rock and gem collection. And I think that these look really cute sitting with some of my rocks. Okay, we've got the second half of the case here, box number seven. And now let's see what this one is. 
Oh, another gem here. Oh, that is so cute. He looks almost like a little bunny creature. And this is called Topaz. So very cute. These are so cute. And I will show you these all at the end. And also, if you hadn't seen um, one of my previous videos, I would like to just announce that I am moving a lot of my old toy videos from my original, from my main channel. I used to do both my regular videos, my homemaking videos from April's Home, as well as my toy videos all on one channel. And then a few years ago, I started April's Toy World here to share my toy collection all on one channel. But um, I decided to move all of my old toy videos that are the popular ones over to this channel. So I will do that all in one day, about three a day, um, uh, you know, every so often. And I'll intersperse that with some of these new videos that I'm making as well. Hopefully uh, I can share a bunch of my toy collection this summer. But if you notice some of those older videos, that is what I'm doing, just so you're not confused by old content showing up on April's Toy World. But that is a project that I will be working on. It's gonna take quite a bit of work. But hopefully I can get those moved over so all my toy videos are in one place. Okay. Oh, oh, he is really cute. Look at that. Okay, I really do need to set up a display with some of my crystals, my real crystals with these adorable little creatures. That is so cute. And this one is called Gem Scuffler. I love that. Oh, he's adorable. That is so fun. Okay, we've got four left in series three. And let's go ahead and take a look at this one. And we have uh, this cutie here. Oh, how cute. This one is also called, it's in the main coloration and it's called Doobly. So a little Doobly there. I love their big black eyes. It just, they look so cute. I um, just love this series. In the past, I have had fun bringing these out to my garden and uh, taking some cute pictures for Instagram. I may have to revive doing that too. It's just such a fun thing. They look really cute out in the garden. They just look like they belong there. And here we have the color variation of that one here. This is in the original color. And there we go. It's a little cute character on the back there. And this is, again, Cottonwood. So we'll put him by his little variation there. We have two left to open up. And let's see what's in this one. Okay. And ooh, this is neat. So wings. Oh, that is cool. So almost like, a, is it a moth? Sort of a moth creature there. And this is called Smowl Bat. So very cool. Almost looks like a cross between a moth and an owl or something like that. Oh, that is just great. I'm so impressed with this series. I always am. I always love Thimble Stump Hollow. It's one of my favorites. One of my favorites that I will continue collecting as they come out. I'm on a very low buy for toys this year, but I did make the exception um, to continue buying some of the art toys and vinyl designer collectible toys that are from series I'm already collecting so that I don't miss out. So if they come out with a series four this year, I will have to pre-order it. Oh, this is so cute. Look at that. So we did get all 10 of the characters, it looks like. I'll have to tally that up and two of the variations, which is wonderful. I love this little creature here. And let's see, this one is called Chibs and Flump. <laughs> so very cute. Okay, let's go ahead and take a look at all of these. See if I can scooch them all in frame. We've got this little guy here with his gem. This fellow here with his antlers. These two that are sort of like combinations of two creatures. That sort of cool owl moth creature. These two color variations and these two. This guy I love carrying along his load of a giant gem there. And then we've got this one and then this bat here. Oh, that is so cute. These are great. I'm so happy to finally be opening up this series, Thimble Stump Hollow Series 3. I hope you enjoyed taking a look at this series. If you liked this video, give it a thumbs up. Hit subscribe for more videos from April's Toy World. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll talk to you later. Goodbye.